The Arctic Center of University of Lapland has trainees from five different countries at the moment. Finland, Germany, Italy, Canada and United States. Trainees are mostly doing research, but also working in administration and in science communication. My name is Andrea, I come from Italy, and I am undertaking this internship at the Arctic Center as part of my education at Aarhus University in Denmark. I was interested in the opportunities given by Nordic uh, uh, education institutions and especially in a more attractive uh, career prospects uh, that in my home country are lacking at the present moment. I came to the Arctic Center because uh, I was writing my master's thesis uh, in Canada and I was writing it about Arctic governance and part of it is on polycentric governance systems which I had an advisor in Canada for that but for the Arctic part of it, I didn't necessarily have someone specialized in it, and I had been reading a lot of work done by Timo Koivurova, who is a research professor at the Arctic Center and in the Northern Institute for Environmental and Minority Law. And I thought, why not email him and see if I can come to Finland, come to Rovaniemi, and do some research with him that is relevant to my thesis. And luckily enough, um, Timo said it was okay, and so I'm here now. When I first came to Rovaniemi, things were certainly different than I expected. Uh, sitting at home, thinking about it back in America, I definitely thought of this place as far off, a periphery, definitely Arctic. But then you get here and realize that Rovaniemi really is the center of Lapland. And it might not be huge, but it certainly has everything you need. I have been traveling a lot in Finland and uh, Lapland regions since I've got here. I've been over to Sala and then north to Naruska in the Sikaselka area for the reindeer roundup in the Sala cooperative, or Rotuspaiva as they call it. That was really interesting. I've also been over to Puha Tunturi uh, to do a bit of research and some interviews on a reindeer herder as well as general hiking in that area. And then I was up in Kirkenes in Norway in the Barents region on the border with Russia for a conference on political economy in the Barents region. And it's really been amazing and interesting to see all these different places. The Arctic Center is a very interdisciplinary workspace. It's a, kind of like a small family. So everyone does their own independent research and is very focused and very passionate about what they do, but it's mostly in different fields. So you have glaciologists or anthropologists, you have lawyers, and everyone comes together at coffee time, so at nine and two o'clock, which is nice because you're so focused on your own things, but then you realize that actually there are so many fields outside of your own, and they actually all come together in this one region. And it's a really great um, area for trainees as well, because we all hang out together and we do things together all the time, but then we're with these researchers who have so much more experience than us, and we can learn so much from them without having them make us feel like we're beneath them or and not doing research that is as equally valuable. Arctic Center trainees spend time together also outside the work. They have been in concert, restaurants, clubs, and they really much enjoy espresso moments together. Yeah, I think the idea of the coffee pot really uh, came from Andrea and me, so uh, I think Andrea was uh, missing a little bit of the Italian coffee because the Finnish coffee may somehow be a bit different, so um, I'm also a big fan of espresso, so I have this kind of bigger pan for, for guests. So uh, we thought that maybe we could use this pot here in the Arctic Center, so I brought it in. And Andrea also knew a person who has some coffee, so then we could arrange sometimes these kind of special situations where we can make some espresso together. Yeah, and then we did something I think typical for Finland. We went to a fireplace next to the river, sitting together, a lot of international people. And so, for instance, we trainees were there and we were eating sausages or makara and it was a very nice evening, yeah. And it was, I predicted it would be quite cold, but it wasn't, so yeah. it was very nice. Yeah. Hello, me cheese and uh, marshmallows, I think also. Oh yeah, marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> really More like American and a little Chris things also. Someone who's thinking of coming to Rovaniemi or the Arctic Center, I think it's a great idea, really wonderful. I've enjoyed it here so much so far. And I think you should think in terms and a perspective of nature and appreciating Lapland for its natural beauty. It's different here. You don't really go to see cities and travel from one to another. 
you really get your best benefit here about seeing nature in general. My advice to other students or researchers who would like to come to the Arctic Center is to come prepared, come with an idea, your own research focus. You shouldn't expect to come here um, and have them provide you with work to do, so you should really have your own focus as well. Yeah. And bring a warm jacket because Romania is cold. <laughs>